Hello, <coughs> my beautiful Capricorns and cross watchers. This is going to be for uh, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I'm sorry, guys, I'm a little uh, emotional still. I just got done with Sagittarius reading and it was very emotional. So, anyways, uh, guys, I have a very busy day today, so I didn't have time to put makeup on and everything. So, you're going to have to deal with me looking all ratchet and everything. I'm sorry, okay? Um, so, guys, we're going to do a quick shuffle here on camera. Um, we're going to go over some really quick announcements. And then we're going to go over your pre-shuffle message, and then we're going to get into your reading. So let's get started, okay? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what messages do we have for my Capricorns, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what clarity and guidance can we bring to my Capricorns, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my Capricorns, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what messages do my Capricorns need to hear today, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides. Okay, Capricorn. So, guys, if you're currently subscribed, welcome back. And if you have not yet subscribed, please be sure to click that red subscribe button on the bottom right-hand corner underneath the, um, the video. I do choose multiple subscribers every month for free readings. I give away tarot cards and I give away oracle cards. The winners are always announced on the first of the month. Um, so, Capricorn, if you're a subscriber and you did not see that for the month of December, please go on to my channel. It's going to say December 2019 winners. Check it out to see if you've won anything. Click that notification bell, guys, so you know when that reading posts or when that video posts, excuse me, um, to see if you're a winner, okay? Now, um, I did open personal readings. Um, it is $20 for one question with clarification, $35 for two questions with clarification, and uh, $50 for three questions with clarification. You can go to my website to book, www.thetaroflight.com, or the information is listed in the description box below. So guys, if you're new to my channel, um, you'll know this is, well, this is not my normal setup. Normally I have shelves that go all the way up, but they ended up crashing down, so uh, whatever. Um, but I do own over 100 deaths. They are all listed on my website with links to purchase in case you're interested. Today we're going to be using the uh, Tarot Illuminati. Okay, it's one of my newer decks. It's gorgeous. The Romance Angel Oracles, the Chakra Wisdom Oracle, and the Wisdom of the Oracle. Okay, so guys, let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle. So Capricorn, the message that I got was really sad for you guys, okay? Because I feel that you guys are in this state of either you're going through karmic justice or you're going through an actual injustice, okay? I feel that you may either be in a connection where you're getting nothing out of it, okay, and you want to leave, um, or you're thinking about missed opportunities that you've had. You're thinking of all the times that you could have reconciled with somebody, all the opportunities that you missed, um, you know, or maybe this could be someone from the past where you're wishing now that you would have worked a little bit harder to keep this connection together. Okay. Um, now this can be work related also Capricorn. If you're treated unfairly in your current workplace, you're thinking of the opportunities that you turned down. Okay. You're thinking of opportunities that you turned down. So whether that's, this is in love or whether this is career related, um, I'm feeling that you left something behind to give to another situation and now you're realizing that, you know, your ships are not coming in in this connection or in this job. Um, so normally these are meant to be love readings, but, you know, I, I tell you guys all the time when I do the pre-shuffle, I generally get a sense of whether or not it's only just, um, you know, romance or if there's other things going on so when i feel other things happening i'm going to tell you okay so i do feel like this could be a little work related okay um I'm feeling that, you know, at the time when you turn down this connection or you turn down, you know, this job opportunity that you really didn't care, you know, you thought that you were going to be fine and that you were making the right choice, but now you're wishing that you can have that opportunity back, okay? So I'm seeing some of you actually moving towards this person with an offer, with love, with an apology, or going back to that previous employer that made you that offer to see if it's still on the table. Okay. Um, 
Now, for those of you where this was a love connection, this could be someone that you were living with, someone that you have children with, someone that you were once married to, or maybe even engaged to. It was a very strong commitment. Um, you know, you guys either had built a life together or were in the process of building a life together or were making plans to live a life together. Um, or this could be, you know, for business, this could have been a business proposal you know, that you turned down because you didn't think it would work out or whatnot. And now you're seeing that, you know, you missed an opportunity. Okay. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and see what the overall energy here is. Spirit, what is the overall energy, please, for Capricorn for the next 72 hours, please, Spirit? Okay. Chaos and conflict in reverse. Chaos and conflict in reverse. Um, so obviously there's something going on in your life right now, uh, Capricorn, that you just don't want to be dealing with. Okay. And then we have no place like home. So for those of you that this was a love connection, yeah, under the deck we have clean it up, you know, trying to clean up mistakes or fix mistakes. So for those of you where this was a love connection, um, missing this opportunity or not reconciling with this person from your past or this person that you're thinking about, I'm sorry guys, I feel crooked, um, it has invited a lot of chaos and conflict into your life that you don't want. And you're starting to realize like there's no place like home, you know, like that person that you left behind that miss opportunity, that was your home. That was your person. That was the place where you were able to be yourself and, and be happy. And now, you know, by, by missing that opportunity, now you have reaped, reaped a bunch of chaos and conflict in your life that you don't want, that you want to get away from. Okay. Um, what I'm seeing also for work is that now you're in a workplace where there's a lot of headaches or a lot of duties or a lot of work that you just don't want to do. Like maybe it's like beneath you, you know what I'm saying? Or there's, you know, an employer that mistreats you and, you know, now you're, you're wishing that you could go back to a previous employer because you felt more comfortable, more at home there. Okay. So Capricorn starting, um, here uh, on your side, your person's going to be on this side. You could flip it, twist it, reverse it. It could be 100% reversed. Um, it's a general reading. If it doesn't resonate at all, guys, it's simply not your message. So here we have Capricorn. Let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Okay. So yeah, Capricorn, if you are in a relationship, you're in a relationship that's very chaotic. There's a lot of drama. There's a lot of stress and you want to get away from it. And if you're in a current workplace situation, you want to leave this job. Okay. And you may be turning to friends or family members to help you get away from this chaotic uh, situation that you don't want in your life. So we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, the um, Page of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Strength card. So we could be dealing with the Taurus or a Leo or um, uh, Sagittarius Aries energy. So with the Seven of Pentacles, this is basically thinking back at the past. And I'm also getting a little bit of remorse here, okay? Thinking about mistakes that were made in the past, okay? Okay. Um, not wanting to invest in something anymore with the two of swords, wanting to cut something out of your life or thinking about a situation that you cut out of your life from the past. We have let your friends help you. So with the page of wands, I'm seeing communication come in. Um, you know, maybe you're communicating to with the hierophant, somebody that you used to be married to or used to have a more traditional relationship with. Um, this could also be like a boss figure that's very spiritual. This could also be, um, you know, a uh, family. This could be family that you're very close to. You're, you're, you're reaching out to people that, you know, um, the Hierophant is spiritual and it's also traditional. So what's more traditional than family? You know what I'm saying? It could be you're reaching out to family, friends, or this boss. With the Strength card here, I feel like... Um I feel like you've tamed your emotions long enough. You feel like you've paid your dues. If this is karmic justice for you leaving that work situation or that love situation behind, you feel like, okay, listen, I, I know I made a mistake. I've paid my dues. I want to go back now and see if I can fix it, okay? We have forgiveness, all right? You may have to go back to a previous employer and ask for forgiveness or this previous person and ask for forgiveness. And you are impatient now to do so. You are impatient 
patient now to do so. You have, you know, tamed your emotions about this long enough, and now you want to be free. You want to be free of this chaos, chaos and conflict. You want to get away from it, okay? Yeah, the Eight of uh, Cups just popped out. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here, please, Spirit? The Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. So this could be, oh, we have the Hierophant here under the deck again. So with the Six of Cups, this could be the mother of your children, the father of your children, a childhood sweetheart. This could even be a family member, okay? This is someone that you withdrew from. Virgo energy here, and with the Seven of Pentacles, you're thinking that that was a missed opportunity. You should not have left that job or left that. The Six of Cups could also represent, you know, a job, a job that was meant for you or that was offered to you. Um, but it was, it was a job that was like meant for you. Okay, it was, it was a job that worked. Okay, um, and if it's a love connection, this could be, you know, it's definitely someone from your past. Why is the Two of Swords here, please, Spirit? The Two of Swords. Yeah, see, now you've made this firm decision. Now you've made this firm decision, Capricorn. And with Cancerian energy here, we have the Chariot and the Three of Cups. You're rushing in. You're, you're making an impulsive and quick decision to rush in and ask for forgiveness and want reconciliation. See, with the Eight of Cups again under the deck, you're walking away from something and wanting to go back to a mistake that you made in the past to ask for forgiveness. And you're impatient and impulsive about wanting to reconcile with this issue, whether it's work or or romance. Why is the knight, uh, I'm sorry, why is the knight of wands here, please? So the knight of wands is a quick moving energy, okay? A quick moving energy, a lot of passion. Yeah, you see here, you're deciding, you, you're stuck. You're stuck and you want to put yourself first here. You want to free yourself with this knight of wands. I'm not sure if I said the page of wands before, but this is the knight of wands. You want to free yourself. You're stuck in a situation and you want to walk away. You want to put yourself first. You're tired of giving to this situation with the page of cups in the in the reverse, okay? <clears throat> You're tired of giving to the situation. Why is the higher font here, please, spirit? Yeah, so I'm feeling here with the Hierophant, okay, we have, you know, this could be someone that you were married to, okay, and it, there could have been a divorce, you guys have moved on, but you're feeling like this was your soulmate, this was your person, this was, you know, and it's definitely a cycle that's been completed, so there could have been a divorce here, um, and if it was work, it could have been a business that you've decided not to pursue anymore, so you shut down the business, or you left that job, and now you want to go back because you're realizing how fortunate and how much of a blessing it was to have that job in your life. Why is the strength card? Card here please spirit the shrug card yeah i feel that honestly guys you've you've been responsible there you are the king of of pentacles capricorn energy you've been responsible you've paid your dues you've paid them okay if it was karmic justice you know you've paid your dues but now you you know you made the decision there to to tame your emotions okay whatever responsibilities you may have had so for instance if you are in a new job no matter how much chaos and conflict no matter how much you're being mistreated you've been responsible you show up every day you do your job you know if you're in a new connection now um you're responsible you're married you have kids whatever the case may be you're a committed stable person but now you're making that you you've tamed yourself to do the right thing but now you're making an impulsive decision that this it i just don't want this in my life anymore i want to go back you know what i'm saying i want to go back and ask for forgiveness now on your person side we have give this relationship a chance and we have finances and career, okay? So what I'm seeing here, guys, is if this is a job, okay, I feel like, you know, the previous employer is going to give you another chance, okay? If this is a love connection, I feel like this person is going to forgive you and work on giving this connection another chance. We have the Three of Wands here. We have the Devil, Capricorn Energy. We have the Seven of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Star. <clears throat> the Oracle here is Wisdom and Creation. Okay, so if this is a work opportunity, okay, if this is a work opportunity, um,
Yeah, this person might give you a chance, honestly, because they may see that you really need this. You need this ship to come in because you're in a lot of toxicity right now with the Devil card. They may see that you're trying to get rid of, get away from a, a really toxic workplace, um, <clears throat> and they they may you know give it another chance because they see that you're really in need. You really need this opportunity to come in. Um, now, when it comes down to working on this connection, okay, um, so I, I have to be honest with you, if it's work here, this person may be really upset, they may feel like you screwed them over and put yourself first, okay, in the past, so honestly, Capricorn, they may take you back because they see that, you know, um, you know, you really need the opportunity, but they're going to be a little bit upset because they're going to feel like you screwed them over in the past. And with the star here, I feel like they're going to be like, you just walked away for your own wish fulfillment and left me, you know what I'm saying, to struggle on my own. Uh, but they're still going to give it another chance, but you may have to really put in a lot of extra work, okay? You may have to put in a lot of extra work. Um, now, if this is romance, okay, if this is romance, um, I feel here that this person is going to give this another chance because they've been waiting for you to come back. They have may have been very jealous, very upset that you kind of just picked up and left them and put yourself first. Okay, so in the past, if you just up and left this person, you know, this person may still be very upset or hurt over that. Okay, why is the three of wands here, please, spirit? Yeah, you see here, third-party energy, big time. So if this is work-related with the Three of Wands, um, this person is going to take you back because, you know, they, they wanted you to work there, but you went and chose a third option. You gave your skills and everything to someone else and left them out in the cold. You chose someone else with the, the lover's card there. It's about making a decision on who you want to be with. So in terms of work, you know, you chose someone over them, but they really needed you. This company that you want to go back to, they really felt that you were a privileged employee, so they're going to give it a chance. Um, now, if it's romance, okay, I feel that this person has been, you know, waiting for this ship to come in. They've been watching you give to other people this entire time, but this person has always missed you, okay? Why is the devil here, please, spirit? Yeah, I feel like this person... Um, is also going to be impulsive and want to move quickly in hiring you or getting back together with you and moving in with you, okay? Um, so the devil here is sexual passion. It could be obsessiveness. It could be wanting to chain you, wanting to keep you, wanting to possess you, okay? So now, Capricorn, if you go back to this person from the past, this person has spent so long watching you with other people that now they're going to want you for themselves. They're, let's move in together. Let's, let's get engaged. You know what I'm saying? Um, or if it's work, this person is quickly going to want you to sign a contract that you're working for them. They're going to they're going to quickly want to possess you and hold on to you. Why is the seven of swords here, please, spirit? The seven of swords. Yeah. So with when it comes down to finances and career, I feel that, you know, Capricorn, I'm actually feeling like two energies here, to be honest with you. So I'm feeling that one of these energies might be the person that you're leaving behind because with the seven of swords, that's you sneaking out. See, you're sneaking out, leaving, and you're going to offer your pentacle somewhere else. So I feel like you may be leaving a job quickly and suddenly, like overnight, okay? And, you know, moving to a new job. Or, um, or Capricorn, you may be just like leaving a relationship quickly, like in the middle of the night, quickly just leaving and offering your pentacle somewhere else to this person from the past. Why is the Five of Swords here, please, Spirit? Yeah, you're intuitively making a decision to cut something out of your life and put yourself first here, okay? So when it comes down to career, you're moving on to this new career or this new person. Why is the star card here, here, please? Yeah, see, this is either a marriage coming back together, a business coming back together. Um, you're reconciling with something that you that is your wish fulfillment. This is this is something that you've been longing to work on. Yeah, this is coming together and reaping success. Oh, that's beautiful, guys. Yeah, see, with wisdom now, you know, you got you've you've matured now. You've matured now and you're ready to build and create, whether it's in business or in love. Okay? 
whether it's in business or in love. So the challenge here is the page of swords, speaking your truth, telling your current romantic partner that you don't want this anymore or telling your current boss that you're out, you're leaving. What's crossing the situation is the Knight of Cups, okay? Going towards something that you love or bringing an offer to somebody, okay? So you have to cut one thing out and then move forward, all right? So we have the Page of Wands here and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, so we have new communication and new offers here, okay? Passionate communication, new offers. Yeah, come by, come, you know what I'm saying? It's it's messages. We're getting a lot of passionate messages and with Pentacles, that's offers, that's stability, okay? So we have the Two of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, see, your Ten of Cups is far from you. Your Ten of Cups right now, Right now, your Ten of Cups is at the distance, okay? Yeah. So here you are, Two of Wands, looking out into the horizon. You're distant from your Ten of Cups. You're, you're distant from what you want, but you have to leave something behind with the Five of Pentacles. You have to leave something out in the cold to pursue that, okay? To pursue that. So yeah, you guys are definitely, um, you're, you guys are definitely leaving something behind and moving forward. Okay. All right, guys. So if this resonated, please be sure to like, don't forget to subscribe. And if you'd like to book me for a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. Take care guys. Bye.